independent power producers have called for grid access from ESCOM as the country works to enhance the growth of the renewable energy sector. South Africa is working on accelerating the procurement of renewable energy through the IPPs. Minister of Electricity and Energy, Hun Zienzo Ramokopa, has uh, gathered role players in the energy space for the inaugural renewable energy seminar. Now, the seminar comes as the country has a renewable energy independent power producer procurement program that has been a bid, um, has seen rather bid windows open for renewable energy. SABC News economics reporter Katle Holehodi is at the seminar and filed this report for us. The future of South Africa's energy mix under the spotlight. This, as we see today, the Minister of Energy and Electricity, Josienzo Ramokopa, really moved to ensure that they bring in the role players within the renewable energy space to touch base in terms of where we find ourselves now and what needs to be done then for the future as we look at energy security for South Africa. We saw the Minister interacting with various of these role players, the associations, they are here, government officials also here, those in the private sector here, and we hear that the country has been moving slowly in ensuring and capitalizing on the IPPs and the renewable energy project. I'm going to bring into the conversation now Mr. Brian Day, who's coming through as the chairperson of the Independent Power Producers Association. You were there as part of the panel that was discussing the future of renewable energy in the country. And we see the minister now, there's a little bit of agility in terms of the movement here, the little bit of concerns around a bid window seven. And we see the minister now coming through to say, we need to throw fresh out and come through with these solutions in making sure that we capitalize on renewable energy. Welcome to the SABC. Just give us a sense of your impression so far. How important was it that we see the minister really roping everyone and bring everyone under the same roof to talk about the future of renewable energy? Thank you very much for the opportunity and greetings to all of your listeners. I believe today has been a profound day. Uh, really credit to Jose Enzo his deputy minister, Samantha uh, Graham-Marie, and all of the people involved from the department. They've got the industry together today, really wanting to listen and hear what the issues are. They made only introductory remarks in the beginning. Mr. Ramakhopa, with no notes, knows the numbers, has done a profound job in his role within the presidency with the electricity responsibility, now with both electricity and energy. He's set this uh, day in motion, and he's real, it's really about understanding from industry what the actual details are. As a proud South African, I could not be happier after um, participating today, because it's not about tippy-toeing around what to say, what not to say, what to offend the politicians or whatnot. They actually just want to know what the solutions can be. He was clear, he doesn't just want us to lament, which has a really deep, deep meaning of, basically it says it's about passionately moaning, but it's about grid connection capacity, building the capacity. What are the rules for, for developing the capacity? How can we improve localization? How can we um, have more job opportunities for local um, South Africans? So beyond just renewables, it's actually about all technologies, how each technology plays its, its necessary role, how we can put a lot more generation capacity on the grid. Because even though we are almost at 200 days of no load shedding and huge credit to, to everyone from Eskom, the reality is we still have a lot of aging plant. It's going to get to the end of its life. We still have to build tens and tens of gigawatts of new capacity. Mm -hmm. and in order to do that, we need to have the grid capacity, both in terms of substations and the evacuation capacity. And it all needs to build together, along with the NTCSA, that the grid part of Eskom, Eskom itself, the private sector and government. And it's an opportunity to collaborate in a whole new way. Yeah. Let's talk about the NTSA. We see the minister and really the interim chairperson or CEO really proud of the fact that we've moved a bit in terms of where we started here. We see now you guys from the industry are calling for more access to the grid. And this is where then the NTCSA comes in. Where do you think we are right now? And you see, and just after listening, listening to Mr. Skierpus here, uh, that there would be that consideration in terms of what you've been calling for, the opening up of this grid. Absolutely. So in the long term, uh, between the National Treasury, 
um, the NTCSA, ESKIM, the Electricity and Energy Department, they are hard at work to um, bring about a model, a concession or boot kind of model, where there can be construction of the grid by private sector players over a term where the ownership then goes back to the NTCSA. But that's the long-term solution. In the short term, the only reality that's going to increase capacity is around uh, the curtailment rules, which sits with uh, NURSA. So NURSA has a, a massive role to play, both in the short term and the medium term. Desegregating tariffs is also an absolutely crucial element, so that the unbundling of ESKIM and the creation of the NTSCSA and the market um, opportunities comes to reality. Are you confident in the future of renewables? Just listening to everything else as we wrap it up, uh, do you see the future being renewable? I am so much more uh, <laughs> excited about the future of what we can do in the country together to have sufficient capacity, more capacity, build our industries, build jobs, and make the electricity sector more green at the same time. Mr. Day, thank you very much, sir, for joining us on the SABC. Brian Day coming through as the chairperson of the Independent Power Producers Association. And you hear him just talking about the future of renewables. They're talking about localization, but also just ensuring that they capitalize on this sector to come through for the economy that has not been doing well for quite some time. And we see them saying it's all straight to work after this particular briefing and after this session here. And we see them just committing to ensure that that private-public partnership becomes a reality and they champion also the future of energy in the country through all of these efforts. I'm Katla Golorodi for SABC News in Midrand.